Okay, just want to give a quick tour of the site that we're going to be using to figure out how much do you weigh where. Um, so it's a Wikipedia article, list of solar system objects by size, and when we scroll down past the graphical stuff, we realize how much mass the sun actually makes up. We are such a tiny little sliver of the mass of the solar system. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, and here we get to the big table, lots of numbers. All right, let's make sense of this. So I'm going to zoom in. Let's say I picked Jupiter as the place I want to figure out what I weigh if Jupiter had a surface and wasn't just a gas giant, um, be that as it may. So let's take a look here. We have the radius, um, so it gives us 69,911 plus or minus 6. That's an uncertainty. We're not exactly sure exactly what it is, or it fluctuates. Um, but 69,911 kilometers, right? So be careful of that. So a kilometer is 1,000 meters. Um, so this would be, oops, don't do that. It's just the other way. Um, 69,911,000 meters meters or 69.911 times 10 to the sixth meters. Um, so that's the actual value of the radius of Jupiter, close as we can tell. This other column, the Earth radius, is is how what is it like in proportion to Earth, right? So if this is 10.97, it means the radius is 10.97 times larger than it is on Earth. And this is going to help us calculate this two different ways. Calculate your weight on Jupiter two different ways. Plugging in actual values, use the actual value um, here for the distance, and doing it proportionally to say, okay, it's a little shy of 11 times larger of a radius. How would that affect my weight here, knowing what I weigh on Earth? So that's the radius. Uh, volume, we're not going to need, um, but mass is going to be useful. Uh, so this is given in 10 to the 21st kilograms. Oh, look at that nice little thing there. Uh, 10 to the 21st kilograms. So we have 1,898,187 times 10 to the 21st kilograms. And I think they just did this, so it's the common unit throughout, so you can kind of compare um, to each. But um, again, that's the uncertainty. Don't worry about that. You can take this uh, mean value and work with that. Um, and again, we have um, Earth masses. So M with the little, I think it's a little planet symbol down below. Um, it's 317.83 times as massive as Earth, right? So as when we do our two different ways, um, that's kind of the bits of information that we need. And we, when we look at the actual gravity, this gravitational field strength, um, this is giving it in meters per second per second. So the acceleration due to gravity on that planet, which is another way to say gravitational field strength. Um, and it, again, compared to Earth. So it'd be 2.528 times uh, what it is on Earth uh, compared to this. So those are kind of the three landmarks. The radius and the mass is all you need to calculate what you need. And then you could always double check that with the value they got for gravity so you know it's right or not. And you're going about this two different ways looking at it proportionally, um, knowing how did the mass and radius change compared to Earth, um, and then plugging in the actual values in the actual equation, g m1 m2 over d squared equal to the gravitational force, um, doing it that way. So have fun.